High scrims are competitive 4v4 treasure wars matches where the best of the best duel it out. There's one issue though, that being the fact that scrims require 8 people, and let's be honest, you don't have much friends. So in this video, I will teach you how to practice your scrim pvp on your own so you can be among the best. Interested? Watch to find out. The first method I will show you guys is mid fights, which have 3 different types. Diamond mid fights, team mid fights, and naked mid fights. Diamond mid fights is where both players get diamond armor and a diamond sword and fight at mid. This type of mid fight is most effective at improving your PvP skill and would highly recommend it to practice stuff like aim and jump resetting. Naked mid fights are a type where both players get to mid with only a stone sword and no armor. The goal of this mid fight is to improve at the first mid fight in a scrim, which is usually the mid fight that determines the outcome of the scrim. It is also good for improving your reaction time as you'll need to get used to sudden movements by your opponents. Team mid fights are 2v2, 3v3, or 4v4 mid fights. They do not have certain rules like designated armor or weapons. Some recommendations are just literally doing 3v3 diamond or naked mid fights. This type of mid fight improves your team chemistry, which is required for the majority of fights you will take in a scrim. Here is a small tip for mid fights since running from combos is allowed, it may seem impossible to hold them. However, it is actually very possible, and this is how. When you pick up your opponent, keep on holding W instead of W tapping. Then when they start running, jump while you are comboing them. And once they stop running, stop jumping and start strafing so they can't hit you back. Here is an example. The second method I will show you guys is stall practice, which can be played in a 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 or 4v4 style. How they work is each team's players gets diamond armor, a diamond sword, and a few stacks of blocks. Then one team's players will go to the other team's base and try to stay alive for as long as possible. The goal of this is to improve your stalling, your defending, bridge fights, and most importantly, your block placements, which are one of the best ways to get the upper hand in scrim pvp, as most times all you will have are your blocks and a sword. The final method is actually on a different server called Zequa, and it's this block in practice. How to set it up is to get 2 or more people and a certain amount of defenders and a certain amount of attackers. I'd recommend having either an equal amount of people on both sides, because if you have an uneven amount of people, you can make the defenders get the extra player. Armor, you can either have both teams have full diamond, or the attackers having an iron split and the defenders having chain armor. For the defense, I recommend having one of the defenses I will show on screen right now. The goal of this is to improve your blockings and defending, but if you want to improve your PvP, I would not recommend this, since it doesn't involve much PvP. You can also practice this by yourself if you don't feel confident enough to block on multiple people. Once you do get more confident, you can do the former. I hope this video helped you, and have a good day.